Emil Shores Elementary School, fifth grade class of 2016. What, what? Today we're gonna do what is called an oobleck. The other day I was meeting with your teachers and we were deciding on what we were gonna do today for uh, early, early release. And they said, we're gonna do an oobleck. And I said, well, bless you. And then they said, no, an oobleck. And I said, a what? And they said, an oobleck, it's a thing that you make. And I said, okay, I'll do the oobleck. So we're going to do the oobleck, but I still don't understand what an oobleck is. So you're going to help me out, figure out what an oobleck is. All right, look at your paper that you have on your desk. You guys should be in groups right now. So if you're not in groups, go ahead and get yourself into four groups. You'll see the materials on the desk that you need. And there is one paper there. Make sure everybody puts their name, everybody in the group, on the line that says names. Make sure your name is on it. Okay. The essential question, I will summarize it. We are going to figure out whether or not an oobleck that we are going to create with this experiment is a liquid, a solid, or a gas. Now before we do that, we have a challenge. And this challenge, I want you to write anywhere on that paper and you guys as a group are gonna write that um, and come up with your own time. Um, the challenge is this. We have this picture and this picture and this picture. Liquid, solid, and gas in the form of ice. Now I'm going to take this ice cube and I am going to boil this ice cube. And I want you to guess how long it's going to take in minutes and seconds for that ice cube to completely evaporate out of the pot. Whoever gets the closest gets the prize. We will check at the very end of our experiment to see who got closest to the time uh, minute and second. Doesn't take hours. There's your hint. All right, guys, go ahead and put your finger on experiment. Yes, don't push each other. Put your finger on the experiment, everybody. First thing we're going to do is get out our materials. You may take your hands off of the experiment. The materials that you need are number one, brown paper towels. Send one person, if you do not have them already, to get paper towels from the paper towel dispenser. You will need four, four sheets of paper towel. Lay them down on your experiment area. You're going to need your bowl, your other bowl, and your starch and your glass of water. It's very simple. All you do is open up your starch. All right, so I have it to a pretty good consistency where when you look in this bowl, so look in this bowl, I mean, that's liquid in there. That's definitely liquid. But when I try to pick it up or put my hand in it, watch what happens. It's almost hard. So, can you look in this bowl here? Look in there. I'm trying to pick this up. And I squeeze it. And it's like I'm squeezing something that's hard, but then it starts to come apart. And I cannot figure out whether or not this stuff is liquid or it's salad. All right guys, make sure you take the oobleck that you made and put it in the big bucket up front in the class and combine everybody's together. Um, you should have everything off of your desk, everything clean, hands clean, clean off your shirt, good to go. 
Now time for the conclusion. If you guessed that it was a salad, you're wrong. It's a liquid. Ublick is a liquid. It's called a non-Newtonian liquid. Non-Newtonian means that it is measured by its viscosity, and viscosity is a measurement of how slowly a liquid moves through a medium. So because of the slowness of the movement of this liquid, it can almost be a solid, but it is considered a non-Newtonian liquid. All right, guys, here's the challenge answer. Whoever gets closest to this within the second, you're the winner. As you can see, there is no water left in the pot. And the answer is, bam, six minutes, 12 seconds. And pour it in the bowl a little bit. <laughs> if you guys chose hypothesis on your inference, I'm sorry, or chose gas on your inference. If you guys, if you guys chose gas. For your inference, I'm sorry, it's already wrong. So you might want to go back and make your change. All right, now you guys should have everything cleaned up, everything off your shirt, off your hands. Should be good to go. Make sure that all the old oobleck, take four.